Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about types of fiber or classification of fiber. So first, let's discuss what a fiber is. A fiber is the smallest unit of textile material. So the smallest visible unit of any textile product like a cloth, rugs, mats, etc. The smallest visible unit, the smallest unit of that a cloth that you can see that is called a fiber its length is many more times greater than its diameter it is very 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 fine hence the diameter is very very much smaller as compared to the length of the fiber fibers are considered as an evidence as a trace evidence in forensic science as it can be very easily transferred from clothing to clothing just by mere a touch a fiber can be transferred from one surface to another so it can act as a trace evidence in any crime scene then the fibers are used in forensic science in order to create a link between the crime and the suspect now they are not very much reliable like fingerprints and dna Fingerprints and DNA uh, will tell us specifically that this person was, this person's uh, DNA was found at the crime scene. It can easily link us to a person, but a fiber is not that specific. It is not that reliable because they are not unique as such. It cannot definitely tell us that this person is the suspect, okay? But it can help us to narrow down the field of the field of potential suspects so it can help us create connections or association of the crime scene with the with any suspect so this is how fiber can act as an as a useful evidence now classification of fiber fibers are of two type natural and man made and they are further divided naturals are, natural fiber is divided into plant animal and mineral fiber whereas man made are further divided into regenerated artificial etc so first uh, so let's discuss first natural fibers so natural fiber as the name is suggesting these are the fibers that we get from the nature the source can be plant, animal and minerals. Now, example of plant fibers include cotton, kapok, coir, flax, jute, kinaf, rami, hemp, sesame, abaca, hana, queen, pineapple, formium, wheat, maize, rice. All these can give us fibers. Like for example, cotton, the fiber is obtained from its seed. In kapok also, the fiber is obtained from seed. In case of coir, the fiber is obtained from fruit. In case of flax, shoot, kenaf, rami, hemp, all these have their fibers in the bast. Whereas in uh, the leaf portion acts or gives the fiber in case of sesame, abaca, hana, green, pineapple, formin. So different parts of the plant in different plants are going to give us natural fibers. Then Example of animal fibers. First is very common silk. It is a silk fiber. It is a protein fiber that is secreted from the silk glands of insect called silk worm. The larva of silk worm makes the silk fiber with the help of its saliva. Now the cultivation of silk worm is known as sericulture. Wool can be, wool is obtained from sheep. The family is caprinae. Then there's alpaca, which is a camel breed. It gives fibers which are light and shiny in nature. Other than alpaca, there is llama, vicuna, guanaco. All these are also camel breeds that are responsible for giving us wool. Mohair is obtained from angora goat. Then pashmina wool is obtained from cashmere goat. Then Bison fiber is obtained from American bison animal. Then cuvute is obtained from cuvute fiber is obtained from the wool of musk ox and it is eight x eight times more warmer than the wool. Then there are some other animals also like angora wool can also be obtained from rabbit, 
Chiangora can also Chiangora wool is obtained from dog. All right, so other animals are also responsible for their animal fibers. Now, if you talk about mineral fibers, then it uh, includes asbestos, glass, gold, silver, then brucite. So, first talking about asbestos, asbestos has many types like chrysotile. It is also known as white asbestos. Then there is amosite, actinolite. Amosite also known as brown asbestos, anthophyllite, crocidolite also known as blue asbestos and tremolite. So there are different types of asbestos and I have added a picture of asbestos also. Then glass can also act as a mineral fiber, gold, silver act as metal fiber. Then brucite, brucite is the mineral form of magnesium hydroxide. So all these are different types of mineral fibers. Then if we talk about the man-made fibers, so as the name is suggesting, these fibers are not present in the nature, they are made by the man. Now there are different types in this like artificial and regenerated. Now if we talk about regenerated fibers, then in regenerated fibers, the natural fibers, the natural product, the natural plants are somehow modified in order to make a new type of fiber. So, like for example, we know that there's cellulose in plant. So, if wood pulp is taken, okay, and cellulose is dissolved in, the cellulose in the wood pulp is dissolved in the certain chemicals. And then, the, the spinneret is taken. The spinneret has tiny holes in it. So, that cellulose dissolved in chemicals is passed through that spinnerate. Spinnerate is just like a sieve, but it, it the holes are very very thin. So the product that comes out from it gives rise to various fibers that are very thin in appearance. All right. So uh, after that, cellulose is dissolved in the chemical and it is extruded through tiny holes in a spinnerate into an acid bath in order to produce the fine continuous filaments are produced also peanut milk soya corn these are also used for producing regenerated protein fibers so if we talk about um, artificial fibers then these are the fibers that are made by human being by chemical synthesis process by the process of polymerization in which various monomers are linked together to make a polymer so polymerization chemical synthesis is done in artificial fibers as opposed to natural fibers that are directly derived from living organisms example of artificial or synthetic fiber include polyester acrylic nylon spandex latex kevlar whereas regenerated ones include viscose rayon acetate triacetate modal tensile and lyocell so this was all about fibers. I hope you found the content to be useful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.